Hello guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to another interesting class of Bearco Institute. On today's class, we'll be unboxing and reviewing this beautiful, gorgeous, sexy inverter generator, model SCE 2500. This is the backstory. A client of mine needed a generator for her workspace and she says she needed a generator that is very silent. She doesn't like noise actually. The generator should be silent, the joint should be able to power her load and the generator should be equally very petrol efficient. I thought for some few seconds and I decided to give her this. Actually this is one of the best generators you will find in the market right now not just for its efficiency for efficiency for its durability but for its portability without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into this video and unbox and subsequently review this generator come with me guys This is the generator straight out of the carton. Okay? Honestly, if there is a better inverter generator than this, I will be surprised actually. No, I'll be surprised because I've reviewed a lot of generators and I'm yet to see a better inverter generator. Personally, I've reviewed Maxi Inverter Generator. Maxi Inverter Generator is very good. No disputing, it was one of those inverter generators I reviewed on this channel. But there was something I didn't like about it, it was too yellow. The fact that it can easily be stained is what pissed me off about the generator. You can use that generator for about three weeks and in no time you discover there are deaths around, deaths on the gen. Okay? And it's difficult to clean up. But this particular generator is way different. With this red color and the its design, it does not usually attract death. That is a plus for me. Okay, so if you are someone who needs a generator that is compact, portable, fuel efficient, or petrol efficient, as some people would want to say, can power your loads, household loads, and you need a generator that is equally very neat. I think this is the generator to go for. It's currently in the market for a good fee and i don't know because of the general condition on inflation it would increase at any point in time so if you have the funds available and you need the generator the best bet is to get the generator from us right away all right that said this is the beautiful generator let me just turn it around so you guys see the beauty of it while unboxing the generator this came with it we have the manual ever present in all unboxing we have this funnel and then we have a two kit a two set that usually comes with generator we have a plug spanner and we have a screwdriver this screwdriver has both sides the flat side screwdriver and the star screwdriver so it's multi-purpose actually so this is a good thing i like generators that usually come with this two set it simply means the manufacturer of the generator had servicing in mind he wants every individual who gets the generator to be able to service that generator i do really like that of course with these two sets you don't really need to call a technician to lose or clean your plug you have the tools already to clean your plug so that is it for the unboxing we head straight to part two which is the review of this generator 
Now to the review, first thing first, we'll be looking at the specifications of this beautiful generator. I've said a lot about the generator, but of course, you need to see what the manufacturer has to say about the generators. Come closer, please. These are the specifications of this generator. Model name, SCE2500, SCE for Sensei. Rated power, 1.5 kV ampere. Maximum power, 1.8 kV ampere. Rated voltage, 230 volts, a single phase generator. That is the Edgid ROPF. 4,800 revolution per minute, an IP class of 23. This is the engine, the fuel capacity of course, 2.5 liter, starting manual, not kick starting, and the type of fuel it used, gasoline, which you already know, rated frequency, expected 50 hertz, and of course, the rated current, 5.2 ampere. We'll just look at the specification, but then of course, we need to look at some visual parts of the generator. You need to know how they function, okay? There are some parts of the generator you may not have seen before. They are not available in other generators, but just available in the generator. Let's run you through that. Of course, this is where you kickstart the generator. If this generator had fuel and engine oil, I would have kickstarted it right away. But the way I would have kickstarted it, will be a little different from other generators because where you see other generators having the four tap, this is what these have. So this is where you control the flow of petrol down to your engine. At this point, it is stopped. All you need to do next is to turn it to run. At this point, petrol goes into your carburetor and then subsequently to your engine. And before you can start the generator, you place the shock, this shock at the start position. And then when you kick start, you take the shock to the wrong position. This is very similar to other power generators you may have come across over time. Generators like Elements, Tiger and the rest of it. Very similar procedure. However, different positioning and different builds. Here is where the generator freaks some people out and they don't understand what and what various part is but then it's easy if you read through but because you don't have the generator now i will run you through it this is simple this is the main switch written at the top here main if this is off the generator cannot come on if this is on the generator comes on and of course before putting on the generator let me run through it again you put this on you put your um foil tap in the wrong position and of course the shock in the start position because when you kick start it using this handle they eventually take it to the wrong position this particular switch it's simple to understand like if you notice well this symbol represents a tortoise and this is i think a hair or a mouse whatever it is but you understand the difference between this this eventually shows this generator is slow at this point and the generator is fast at this point this is what it means at this point when you take this to this point this generator speed is reduced and at this point cannot power some certain load except if you take it to this position and at this point now it cannot power loads like one horsepower uh, one horsepower inverter ac refrigerators as the case may be and then we have the output indicator this shows you the generator has voltage when you put on a generator this particular generator and there is no light in here just know that your gentle voltage is bad something as regards to gentle voltage is bad and you have to rectify it this is overload alarm when you put on a generator and then you observe there is an alarm there's a symbol here all you need to do is to simply put off some load and then this comes back to normal this is the four oil alert system as it's written here oil alert okay low oil alert at this point when your generator doesn't have sufficient engine oil it just signifies here and just underneath we have the 5 volt usb the dc 5 volt usb this is used to charge or to power anything that is 5 volt okay so when you have your phone perhaps your um, smartphone is down and the generator is on there is no charger in sight just a cord all you need to do is to connect directly to this and it charges your phone and then we have the ultimate the 230 volt plug this 230 volt socket rather this socket helps in powering all your household equipment and that is it from this end i'm sure you now have an idea the various parts and how they function and of course we have the exhaust this is one of the most gorgeous looking exhaust you will find anywhere and i like the way these vents are built okay this is the exhaust of course the exhaust takes out 
um, bad gases which comes out in the form of fumes and sometimes smoke and of course you have this vent this vent helps in dissipating heat from the generator another part you need to know basically it's this part this is your plug this is where you take off your plug and you clean it up for some reasons especially if your generator refuses to start at any point in time okay that said this part is where you change or refill your engine oil okay this is the crankcase this is your gauge and of course you take this off and turn your engine oil into it in the next video after this we will teach you how to basically um, refill your engine oil or change as the case may be so stay with us that is it from us from this particular unboxing and um, review and subsequently we are going to shoot that immediately in that video we teach you guys how to um, refill your oil add foil to the generator basically everything you should know and then we'll be performing a load test if you want to watch that video please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them if you like this particular video you've already watched please i beg you to like and share till we meet in our next class it's goodbye from us take care